Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for February. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and this is for February, okay? We're just going to see what comes up under you and the other person. You pick a side, okay? You, I'm not sure what side is you. I tend to say this side is you, but you know, that's just who I am. Anyhow, you pick which side is yours. What do we got? What do we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for February? February. Libra. Well, we're going to start over here. So, Seven of Cups reversed, the Seven of Swords reversed, and the Lovers reversed. Okay. Okay, so this is seeing a situation clearly. This is clarity coming out of illusion. I see it clearly, making a different choice, choosing another option. Somebody may have been cheated. They may have been lied to. There's been some sort of betrayal, but it's seeing the truth. So this is seeing the truth about a contract that is not practical, okay? So this is disharmony in a connection. It's a, it's detaching from a connection that was may have been based on fantasy. There could have been some sort of illusion. Uh, yeah, there's been some lies. There's been some deception. And somebody may have been pretending, you know, definitely pretending with these two cards that, you know, this was a soulmate connection. Definitely uh, fantasy, okay? This is some sort of fantasy, you know, thinking that this is a soulmate, thinking this is meant to be, but it's not. It's not true. It's not true, okay? I can't. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Um, this is uh, seeing it clearly, accepting the truth, seeing the truth, the truth coming out about a partnership that isn't real, okay? Or it's not practical or there's just no harmony. It's not meant to be, okay? So, hmm. this is a separation of some sort. There's been some lies. There's been some deception. Now, this could now remember we're going to do the other side. We're going to do both sides. This person over here is um, waking up by the looks of things, waking up to the truth in regards to a partnership. Ooh, Page of Pentacles reversed, Four of Swords reversed. And the Ace of Swords. Now, this is the raw truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And this is the awakening. This person is, the whoever it is that this that this person is thinking about, it has spoken the truth, has said the truth, has conveyed it, okay? Has said, you know, what is on their mind. And they basically, I feel like this person over here... Um, doesn't want to move forward, doesn't want to put in any effort. It's over. This it's over. I feel like this person on this side, it's 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 a dead end and they're done. They're not gonna this is a dead end. These are both dead end cards. These two right here. Okay? They are. This is there's no nothing practical here. This person has communicated or they will be communicating. They will be saying that they don't want to go down this path because they are taking a new approach. This person is communicating the truth, whoever this person is. I feel like this person doesn't want to put in any effort to them. You know, they're wanting to go down a new path. The, you know, and wherever they've been, it hasn't been successful, and they accept it. They're accepting it. This is acceptance right here. Um, now we have somebody here that is bitter, okay? Bitter, revengeful, hard to love. They may see see the person that they are dealing with is is bitter. They is hard to love, okay? Uh, the Queen of Swords could be you. This person could be a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, is definitely clear. They have because they have clarity. They they know, okay? They know that they that this isn't. Uh, going to bring them stability. They have already made their decision and they probably see whoever this, you, okay, or whoever, they see this as a, probably a hostile situation. No offense or anything. Um, it's over. It's done. It's completely over. This person on this side, whether this is your side or this is your side, this person has accepted that something is done. 
this is it's over it's done completely done 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 there's no going back um there is no going back so whoever is on this side it has accepted the truth that this is completely over this is this leads to nowhere it leads to nowhere um the three of wands reverse don't don't this person is no longer focusing on it they're moving on they're focusing on the future um and they probably will be communicating that something is over you know there's no going back there's too much fighting there's too much bitterness there's too much animosity there's no growth here i don't want to put any effort into it somebody is going to be communicating that uh this the whole connection has gone cold and it's the truth. So somebody is going to be communicating. It's, I think it's going to be harsh. It's going to be a harsh truth that is probably going to make somebody upset. I think this person over here probably has another woman. If it's, if it's a masculine, they have another woman or they have another person that they are engaged with. And whether they're engaged or not, you know, the word engaged can go a, different, a few different ways. This person is not prepared to come back to to uh, the relationship, the past relationship with the ex. It's like, no, my mind is made up. So this person has made up their mind that this that they're not going to invest in this dead end. They're not going to put in any effort whatsoever. And it's probably going to make the other person very bitter and upset. Over here, we have somebody here that is realizing the deception about a contract. This person is, is going to basically be forced to wake up. And this is the awakening. So this person is delivering an awakening to the person that is in fantasy land. Uh, somebody doesn't want to be alone thinking uh, you complete me you're the one you're the only one that I can be with you're it you're you know this is what this is it's like I, you complete no you complete you there is nobody that completes you you complete you not this person so we have somebody here that is very insecure and needs to find their discipline to uh, take ownership of what really is there's a lack of self-worth here it's we have somebody here that lacks self-worth and they are thinking that there's an, another person that this person in particular is the only one that can bring them happiness that's fantasy happiness comes within yourself and and you and and perhaps the universe or god or angels or somebody brought this person into your life to teach you self-worth okay so I feel as though we have somebody here that has been holding on to a fantasy and, you know, it's, it's not practical. It's not realistic. Um, you're cheating yourself of, of happiness. You're cheating yourself of love, but you're cheating yourself of, of love by living in fantasy land. So this is seven of wands is this is a real challenge. It's, it's like you're fighting for it, fighting, 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 unwilling to back down. I feel like you're going to be, it's like you're, you're refusing to give up on somebody, refusing to budge, you know, but you're wasting your time. I think that you are wasting your time. I think that you are going, whoever this person is, is going to receive a message. They're going to receive some communication that is going to hurt them, okay? Because the person on this side lacks respect for the person on this side. There's a lack of respect, okay? So, and, and, and it's like this person over here knows that this person has security issues, is very insecure and in, in, is, in, uh, is delusional. This person over here knows that this person has is delusional, okay? They know it. Um... So you need this person on this side needs to find their confidence and they need to stop trying to force a connection. We have somebody here that is is trying to force somebody to love them. It's like I'm going to you're meant to be with me and I'm not going to give up because this this person is overly confident. I mean, there's lack of self-worth here, but this is like highly competitive and this is highly competitive. We have a highly competitive individual that is trying to force like a soulmate connection. It's like, you are my soulmate. I know you are. This is a know-it-all, okay? I know you are when it's not true. It's not true. So you need to you need to let go of the need to control. This is a very controlling energy. To control the situation and uh, step off this 
ride that you've been on and stop lying to yourself. Somebody has been cheating themselves. They've been fighting for for a connection that isn't meant to be, trying to force it. And, and it's like, it's all based out of their own insecurities, their lack of self-worth. You need to find your self-worth. You need to find your self-esteem. You need to find your self-confidence to... Uh, protect yourself from people that don't value you, people that don't see your worth. You need to um, find your strength and your confidence to let go of people that treat you as an option, you know? It, it feels like this. we have somebody over here that uh, needs to hold their head up high and find their strength to let go of this player that is playing with them. We have a play. It's, this person is being played. They're being cheated. And it's like they're in denial. We have somebody here that is in denial, fighting for a connection that isn't meant to be. There's, they're going to receive a message that whoever it is that they are waiting on, is it's over. It's done. This person... Um, doesn't want anything solid, doesn't want anything stable, isn't planning on putting in effort. This person is being played by this person. Okay. Somebody is being played, um, really big, big time, really big time played. Um, we have, uh, some sort of communication that is going to be delivered that, expresses an extreme betrayal, okay, or an extreme ending with the Ten of Swords. This is the end of a difficult situation. It's 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 been getting colder and colder. The connection's been getting colder and colder and colder and colder. And now we've reached the point of basically death, okay? These are both death cards, okay? It's done. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus because we have a bull and this is a Taurus as well. So this isn't going anywhere and you're going to receive the message that whoever it is that you are waiting on is uh, not going to build anything. They're not going to build anything. They're not going to put in any effort there. As far as they're concerned, this is a, a situation where they lack respect. Anyway, they're going to communicate the truth. This person is going to communicate the truth and it's going to hurt. This is a... This is the truth that hurts, okay? It's not what you were prepared to hear. You weren't prepared to hear it. You didn't. You don't want to believe it. Somebody's been in fantasy land and they're about to get an awakening. And I'm sorry, Libra. I am sorry. I feel like uh, this may help you to uh, bring growth to your life, okay? It may help you to... Uh, Find your self-confidence in your self-worth. I feel like this is a time for you to uh, pick yourself up from this situation and uh, turn your back. You definitely, this may, this whatever mess information that you receive is going to help you to turn your back on this illusion. Okay, you're going to receive some a message that gives you some sort of power or energy or determination to turn your back on this uh, connection that is no longer harmonious. It's no longer feasible. It's no longer uh, there. So... Be prepared to receive a message that uh, gives you the determination to say, I'm worth more than that. Good luck.